this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the hard drive on a MacBook Air. So let's uh, begin by removing the back. I've seen a lot of screws in my life, but I've never seen a pentagon. That's a new shape. Well, I didn't have that, so instead I just used a very small flat head that was just the right width to fit in between the peaks, in between those corners, and I was able to get them out. Some of the screws are a little more tricky because they have blue Loctite on them or some kind of thread locker. There are no hidden screws. They are all in plain sight around the perimeter. Some of them are a little longer than others, but uh, with a little work, you'll get them off. It's really nice how everything in the back is black. The fan, the batteries, the motherboard and even a lot of the connectors and of course a lot of the components. It just looks very nice. Now the hard drive is this unit right here which looks similar to a RAM stick but it's actually a special kind of solid state drive called a NVM, I believe it's an M.2 but you can see that this one is a 128 gigabyte solid state drive Toshiba. Guy does have one screw right here and I should point out that the screws on the outside were pentagons but the screws on the inside are actually a six point star which I did have that. Once you've replaced the hard drive you can just put that one screw to keep it in and then uh, you can put the cover back on and put all those uh, screws back in.